Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. If you're a frequent watcher, welcome back. Okay, I am going to do a get ready with me. I've had people ask me to do an updated get ready with me for quite a while, so I figured this would be the perfect video. Baby Paula is sleeping right here because I am a mom before I am an influencer. And I'm trying to talk low so she doesn't wake up, but I'm also trying to talk loud because the AC is loud. Today's video is sponsored by Jen Ardor. Thank you guys so much for reaching out to me. I had to peek at them because I was just, I was so excited for this package. Now that they're here, oh my god, I can't wait to show you guys. I have a good amount of shoes, but I don't have anything like these. So, <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys what they look like. Okay, so before we get started, I have so many good things to tell you guys about this brand. I am going to unbox these shoes again for you guys on camera. This is the box that it came in. It is like this gorgeous mint green color. I got flats. Y'all are ready. No, I'm not ready. Hold on. So when you open the box, with this stuffing paper. I love this. Look at this shoe. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god, I'm so obsessed with these. Look at that. And then it just says Jen Order right on the inside, on the insole there. Then it comes with this little card that says walk into the party. Uh, your Jenna Order community has been at an intersection of footwear, innovation, and fashion. Okay, guys, so this is them. Oh my god. Freaking 10 out of 10. Jen Ardor has styles for literally everything. They've got heels, they've got mules, they've got loafers, they've got sneakers, they've got flats, they've got it all. So I'm gonna go ahead and try these on and we're gonna see what they feel like together. I'm not wearing socks with them right now because I normally probably wouldn't wear these with socks, but I got them a little bit bigger, so that if I did want to wear them with socks, I would. Oh my gosh, they are so soft on the inside. These are freaking gorgeous, super, super soft, and they are a little platform, so it gives me a little bit of a boost. So instead of 5'2", your girl's gonna be out here 5'3", in it. Oh my god, the insults of these are super, super super soft as well all right guys so just a little insight on jenna ardor they are very stylish shoes something for everyone super comfortable most shoes come with a very soft insole they're super affordable shoes with incredible quality they've got something suitable for all events all events you guys cannot go wrong i do have a coupon code if you guys are interested it's gonna be listed here and also down in the description box if you go down to the description box, you can find the link to the shoes that I'm currently wearing and also their website in general and a discount code and all you need to know about the brand. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys find something that fits your style and your needs. That is enough talking. Enjoy the get ready with me video and see how I ended up styling my Gen Ardor shoes. Enjoy. Okay, so I feel like I haven't done a get ready with me video in so long. All right, so the first thing that I'm going to do today is put on some concealer. This is Deep by Tarte. So I just put this on all of my dark areas that I feel like I just want to conceal more. And then after that concealer, I go in with Crystal's NARS foundation because I have yet to buy my own even though I've used all of hers. And then I have this beauty blender from Morphe that I, I just freaking love. Blend in all of that concealer that I just put on. I don't like a lot of foundation. I feel like it just looks terrible over time. I go in with this same beauty blender from Morphe and I just blend that out. And I like to tap it because I feel like it looks more airbrushed at the end. <laughs> I think my baby's crying. I might have to come back. After that, I go in with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I just apply it under my eyes. Here.
take my very ancient beauty blender from Beauty Blender and I just blend everything upwards. this hydro camo concealer from elf with a satin finish and i kind of used this to contour my face <music> then i take this same beauty blender that i used for my lighter concealer and i just blend this again upward to lift my face <music> my glam bronze from morphe and this is in the shade trailblazer honestly the best thing i've ever bought not even being not even being dramatic because i use this random brush from a makeup revolution palette that i got years ago you know what i'm saying i'm gonna just take it and i just go up I also take this really skinny angled brush from Makeup Forever and I just go down my nose. Then I go in with my infamous L'Oreal Mercier powder and that same Morphe Beauty Blender and I set certain spots. Well, everywhere that I put the light concealer is where I put this one. <sighs> I try not to take too much. And then I just end up kind of drowning myself in it anyway. And then I'm very adamant about dragging this up so that when I do my eyeshadow, it just looks good. I take this little fluffy little thing here from Morphe. It is M330. And I take this little elf box here that my concealer came in. And I just... You know what I'm saying? And for eyeshadow, I use the same Morphe palette. I use this for pretty much freaking everything. And then I just literally do like this. I don't know how to do eyeshadow. You guys can try to lie and say that I didn't kill that and that's not a good life hack. Then I go ahead and take this fluffy brush from Eagle Tools, which is like a powder brush probably, and I just wipe off all that excess or Mercier. I go in with this Ace Pute Blush in Paradise palette and I just use all of them. All of them. I just literally just. And I put that in the same place that I put my contour, that more that Morphe Trailblazer. And I do that up motion as well. I do my nose, my chin, voila. Then I do my eyebrows. I use this NYX Micro Brow Pencil to brush. I actually just bought this. This is the e.l.f. Clear Brow and Lash Mascara. Maybe I was supposed to put this on after the liner, but whatever. I use this dark brown eyebrow pencil. Then I go in with this e.l.f. Wow Brow in the 
I'm pretty sure it's just dark brown that I got mine in. After that, I'm going to put on my infamous Voluminous Original Mascara from L'Oreal. Oh my gosh, I forgot like one of my favorite. Uh-uh. Hold on. How did I forget about that? I go in with my Morphe brush. My Morphe brush, my Morphe palette, and I go under my eye. I feel like it ties the look together. Like, yeah, no. How did I forget that? I must have drunk. Now we are going to go in with the new lip combo that I just bought. NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in the shade, I want to say Mason, it's M-I-S-O-N. And then I got NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this is in the color Berlin. This is a great alternative to my Anastasia Beverly Hills that I use and the color everyone absolutely loves. And then I finish off this whole look with NYX Professional Long Lasting Matte Finish Setting Spray. And we're all done. I'm gonna style my hair off camera because I have no idea what I wanna do with it, but then I will be back to find an outfit. I have an outfit in mind, so we're just gonna actually throw it on. Okay, so I think I have my outfit. I'm gonna put it all together and then show you guys what it looks like. I think it's a 10 out of 10. Oh, I think it's so cute. I'm gonna go run some errands, so hopefully this kind of fits the weather. It looks a little overcast, but also a little hot outside, so see what we can put together here okay so i decided to ditch the jean idea and i went ahead and went with black biker shorts and it hides my fupa you know so win-win <laughs> that is it for today's video i will see you in the next i've got to go get my baby girl change and we're gonna go run some errands together <laughs>